Let's say hello to Darren Hall. Darren Hall is back, I would presume, in the state of California. He played in the Senior Bowl a couple of weekends back. What a good time uh, to start and launch your professional career. First team, all Mountain West Conference defensive back, cornerback, Darren Hall joining us on Extra 1360. Darren, this is Darren. Thank you very much for joining us. Got a great name there, <laughs> but thank you. And for you having spell it. and you spell it the right way too. You know how many times people misspell our name? It's just it. Gosh, it's infuriating, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but we got a great name. Great name. I hear you. I'm with you a thousand percent on that one. How's it going? Where do we find you today? I presumptively said California, but I don't know if that's true. Where are you today? Yeah, I'm actually uh, here in Phoenix, uh, working out with the uh, combine. Well. Would be combined, but pro day coming up soon in March. So just out here training um, in between workouts right now. I've got to go back up there in about an hour or so, getting able to lift in. But, yes, yeah, so I'm here in Phoenix. I like it. Uh, how's life been since you decide that you're going to turn pro? You could have come back. You, know, you had another year of eligibility. But since life, uh, how's life changed for you since you decided that it's time to make the jump, it's time to move on, it's time to go test the waters of uh, professional football? Yeah, um, God has just opened so many doors for me since I made the decision of uh, declaring early. Um, I've just been being told for a long time that I was possibly not going to get a senior bowl invite, you know, just being an underclassman, and uh, there's a lot of guys that may are ahead of me or things such and such. So, I mean, you know, just keep on speaking to it, and, you know, just praying and, and keeping faith about the uh, – the senior bowl and I end up getting an invite and then so short, right after the game I go to my parents um talking to my parents and they're like guess what I'm like what and he says uh, you got a combine invite just uh via my agent so um I think that it's been it's been a blessing I think that I made a great decision even though I love San Diego State and playing with my brothers and being in front of all the fans that we had except for this past year but um life's been going real good for me I say I would say so. Darren Hall is joining us on Extra 1360. Is that unusual, by the way, for a guy in your position? Like you said, I don't know exactly what the rules are, and I don't know if it was any different with this year's Senior Bowl because of COVID, but is it unusual for somebody who who technically was a junior but had graduated? Does that happen often, that, that a person in your situation gets invited to the Senior Bowl? Um, sometimes I know that there's been a, a couple stories in the past where guys who are eligible, like last year, my friend in the uh, Darnay Holmes who graduated early, he declared early and got the invite as well. Um, just if you graduate, you're you're eligible for the Senior Bowl, just depending on your play and where you fall out with the other players and seeing if you're actually going to get the invite. But it, it's a, I would say sometimes it happens, sometimes it don't. You know. Well, tell us about your experience. You know, what was it like? Uh, those of us that, that pay attention to such things, we've seen the clips. You know, we saw the pass broken up. Uh, we saw the near interception as well. Tell us from, yeah. from your standpoint here, what was that experience like? Uh, that was one of the best experiences of my life. Um, just being able to be around so many great, talented players um, from all around the country. It's kind of like uh, how the NFL is going to be. You know, there's, a, there's such a big pool uh, that they're going to pull from and select draft picks or even just um, like uh, undrafted free agents and things like that. So just being around some of the good players and then the week of playing for the Dolphins and just learning their little scheme for the week and just getting some NFL coaching was, uh, was wonderful. The owner's coach actually for the Dolphins, for the defensive backs coach, the safeties, he actually went to my high school. So it's like a hmm. super small, super small world. Um, we had a great connection. Uh, he taught us a lot of good things, and I was able to just soak in all the information from uh, the coaches, the coaching staff on both teams, uh, the Panthers as well, and then also just the interviews. Um, we've had we had the chance to get in front of every team, all 32 teams, and just you know sell yourself and just let them know who you are as a person, uh, what you believe in, how you believe, how the team sees you, what you see, what you do best, and what you don't do as well. You know, just it was just a very good experience overall. Does do any of those interviews do any of them stand out? You mentioned you got an opportunity to get in front of thirty two of them. Just uh, reading up a little bit here before you joined us: uh, Bengals, Browns, Rams, Forty Niners. I've seen something about great conversations with the Forty Niners. Uh, yeah. Did any of those interviews with any of those teams really stand out to you? Yeah, um, I feel like each interview went really well. Uh, I had a chance to just 
sell myself and tell them I'm, I'm versatile. I could play all three positions in the back end, you know, just tell them about my family background, my playing background, just things of the sort. Um, there's also interviews like the Vikings that went real well. Uh, there were so many interviews, and they were all literally back to back to back to back to back to back. It's kind of it's kind of a blur now, like which team was which and how each conversation went. But uh, I have to say that they all went well. Uh, just put my best foot forward, let them know that if you guys wanted to pick me, you'd get a great player. Did you find, you know, we, we spend a lot of time, Darren, and we're talking to Darren Hall uh, out of San Diego State, cornerback who is returned from the Senior Bowl, getting set for uh, the Combine here, the NFL draft, et cetera. Um, do you find that, that you know, we spend so much time talking about group of five programs and San Diego State and Power Five. You know, your, your, one of your highlight clips came against a, a Power Five wide receiver out of Arizona State, which we'll talk about with Herm Edwards here in a little bit. But uh, do you find that people are, are generally speaking aware of, of Mountain West football, of San Diego State football? Or do you, do you find like it's a real learning process for them, you know, that they, they maybe didn't see you a ton? How, do, how, how much familiarity is there with you and your work and, and guys who played in programs like yours and conferences like yours? Yeah, so just um, with TV time, I think we played our game so late so we could get some TV time. And we had a little contract with uh, CBS Sports to play our games at like 5.30. And um, I think that we didn't get the as much the publicity or mainstream uh, like national TV time. Um, however, I think that they'll find talent wherever. Uh, I might not be a household name as of yet, or I might not be well-known across the whole country. However, um, that time will come and Right now, the only thing I was really worried about or that really was on my mind is just catching the eye of scouts um, and NFL teams, and I think I did that. Uh, just And then going to the Senior Bowl, I think that there's a lot of talent in the uh, group of five schools. They might they might not have been like either like the fastest or might have did one thing a little – they might have been a little smaller, a little lighter in weight. However, there's talent all across the country. I don't think there's – but I think the biggest gap from Power 5 and Group of 5 schools is probably like the interior. I think the interior of uh, D-line and O-line is just a little bit bigger, stronger, you know. But skill skill position-wise, I think there's talent and it can match up with all the Group of 5 schools and all Power 5 schools. So just, you know, we didn't get as much publicity being in the Mountain West. However, um, I got the, the publicity I needed with uh, scouts, so. That's good for me. And you've, and you've made the most of that, turning that into an invite to the Senior Bowl again, coming out technically a junior and now on your way to the Combine as well. You sure you want to play defensive back in the NFL, man? Did you watch the Super Bowl? It feels like, you know, that's the, those positions back there, you know, those referees, I don't know. I, I, what did you think? You sure you want to continue moving <laughs> yeah, forward with the, this? Those refs are showing no love, man. But it's the hardest position to play in football, I think, to other than quarterback. Uh we're at a disadvantage every single play. Um, we can't touch the receivers, but, you know, they could swim us by. They could push us off a little bit. It's an offensive game. I know fans when I see people scoring. Uh, but, you know, you got to show us just a little bit more love than that. We can't do much, really. But, you know, I've been playing that my whole life, so I'm going to have to get used to it playing up there. Yeah, I would say you have to get used to not that that I can remember a time where they threw a flag on you for pass interference, but I I would venture to say I'm going to guess, Darren, you probably like the penalty 15 yards in college a lot better than spot foul in the NFL. That that's that's yeah. one I've always thought. Yeah, that spot foul would hurt. You know, you can be you can throw a bomb in college. <laughs> you say you 30 40 yards down the field, it's only a 15 yard penalty, but in the NFL, that's a spot foul. So. It's a big difference. You know, you've got to be a little less handsy, let your feet and the, your athleticism cover the receivers that are up there. But the receivers are good. They're talented. They're, they're, they're crafty. So, you know, you just got to do your best. And they get away with a ton of stuff too, don't they? I, I mean, it's yeah, just, so much. You could know, see it's it. Like, okay, if you're going to let them push me by, you at least have to let me put my hand on them. Like, you can't even touch me after five yards. If they could touch you all they want. So it's like, very counterintuitive. Very, very. I hear you. I'm telling you, the deck is stacked against these defensive backs, man, in particular. I, 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 that's why you have to have supreme confidence here, which it certainly sounds like you do. So when are you off to the Combine? 
So the combine has been canceled, like the traditional indie that was supposed to be that was supposed to happen at the end of this month. So instead, it's gonna be more of like a virtual virtual meetings with uh, teams and uh, team doctors trying to do like a physical check and just checking your medical history as well. Uh, there may be some people who are invited to Indy just to get uh, in-person checked on with, by the team doctors and such uh, sometime in April. But our pro day is really where we'll have our time to to run our 40, run our agility drills, um, do our position work and things like that. Well, hey, Thanks for doing this. Continued success. Uh, you know, the trajectory that you're on right now, you got a ton of people in the city here in San Diego who are behind you, Darren. Uh, we do appreciate it. We look forward to, uh, to following and seeing where, where this all takes you. We appreciate the time. Thanks so much and continued success. I appreciate you, man. Thank you guys for having me on the call and, and the love and support I'm getting from the city. San Diego is one of my new homes now. I'm only like an hour and 30 away, but I love San Diego.